Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We're going to show you today how to replace all eight hydraulic cylinders in the Cadillac XLR's convertible top. We have separate videos on replacing the pump and also on troubleshooting micro switches and the likes. Um, if your top is moving slowly, the pump is making odd sounds, likely you have lost some fluid uh, due to leakage from one or many of the uh, cylinders in this top and uh, you need to deal with that leak and fix it. Uh, top Hydraulics rebuilds all eight cylinders, makes them better than new inside, and uh, we offer core exchange where we can send them from our inventory first, or you can send yours in first uh, for a rebuild and upgrade, and then we send them back to you. Now, um, let me show you quickly what these cylinders do. That is the front lock cylinder that locks the front to the windshield. There is the front tonneau cylinder down here that uh, moves, that flips this little uh, storage cover around. There are the two rear tonneau cylinders, one here, one on the other side, that move the painted um, trunk lid front cover or tonneau cover around. There are the two uh, trunk lid um, cylinders that raise and lower the trunk lid and there are horizontally mounted the two main lift cylinders that moves the uh, main part of the top around. So let's get to it. We'll show you piece by piece. Let me just tell you one more thing. If you have a leak in one of these cylinders you will very soon find the next one and the next one and the next one leaking. The smart thing to do once you have the first leak is to replace all eight cylinders at the same time because you get your hands dirty only once, you have to have the car down only once, and um, these all fail within a fairly short time from each other compared to the lifetime of the car. So uh, typically we will easily see the first cylinder failing after say the car is 15 years old, and within the next year the same customer will be back to replace all the other cylinders because they uh, find them leaking as well. So a smart thing to do is all eight cylinders at the same time. If you're going to keep the if you're planning to keep the car for a long time, just have the pump rebuilt at the same time as well because it will fail in the long run. So uh, best to just get everything done at once. Um, hopefully, this video will show you that it's a very manageable project uh, project, and uh, we'll try to show you every step of the way. Let me explain uh, the components of the Cadillac XLR's convertible top hydraulic system. It's actually pretty simple once uh, you know which components are there. It's easy to figure out how they all work together. Let's start with the pump that's in the uh, left rear corner of the trunk. Obviously it has a reservoir with hydraulic fluid in it, electric motor and a bunch of valves that divert the pressurized fluid to the eight cylinders in the whole top system. Now, <clears throat> what do the cylinders do? The um, deck lid cylinders are the ones that lift up the trunk lid. There's one on the left and one on the right. Um, after the trunk lid has lifted up, you will see that your front tonneau or stowage cover flips around. That is done with one small cylinder part number 88957086 and that cylinder is identical to the two rear tonneau cover cylinders or rear stowage cover cylinders, same part number, that um, extend that little painted trim cover um, that um, swings into the front area of the trunk lid once your top is down to cover the uh, open uh, area that was exposed by uh, lowering the top. Then we of course have the main lift cylinders that are mounted fairly far forward in the trunk and they do the main lifting, that is they lift the uh, convertible top assembly up and down. Lastly we have the front latch cylinder, Cadillac part number 88957089. That one latches the uh, top to the windshield or unlatches it when you open the top. And uh, just for completeness, you can read the part numbers here for the main lift cylinders, Cadillac 88957085, 
and I don't think I've mentioned the part number for the deck lid cylinders before, 88957088. And of course for the pump, the um, part number is 88958028. Some of these parts are not available from Cadillac anymore, but Top Hydraulics offers all of these in core exchange, um, or you can send them in for a rebuild first. We do make all of these parts far better than new inside, and I'll explain in a moment how we do it, why they are better than new inside. Um, what else do you need to know about the pump? Well, it actually is mounted upright. You can see here there's a maximum minimum marker on the reservoir. If you check the fluid level on this reservoir after you've opened the trunk lid and uncovered the left rear corner of the trunk liner. You see this reservoir. If you find that the reservoir is under the minimum level, then you have, you know, you have a leak somewhere. A leak in the system normally comes from one or several of these hydraulic cylinders. They will all fail with time. Their um, average service life is about 15 years. It can be even shorter in hot climates. It could be, luckily, as much as 20 years in cold climates, uh, but eventually they will all fail. And um, how do they fail? Well, each one of these cylinders has a number of seals in it. There's the main seal, which is a rod seal, um, where originally the manufacturer put in a tiny uh, ring face, uh, rings-shaped uh, seal. We replace that with a cup seal, much better out of uh, longer lasting material. And also we put in a new gland. The gland is what the shaft slides through. The um, rod seal is mounted inside the gland. The gland also gets a wiper seal on top to keep contamination out. Plus there's a gland seal on top, there's a gland seal on the bottom. Um, ironically, the first leaks that you will typically see from these cylinders come through the rear mounting hole because uh, uh, one of the first seals to fail is the gland seal that is or plug seal that <coughs> is around the insert here sealing the insert from the tube of the cylinder that seal fails top hydraulics replaces it with viton which has a practically unlimited shelf life is inert too almost all fluids except for brake, uh, brake fluid <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, we uh, provide replacement O rings for where the hydraulic lines go into the cylinder. The hydraulic lines clip into the cylinder with a um, clip that slides in the cylinder's rail. Um, all you have to do to remove the hoses is slide the clip out away and pull out the hose, and there is your cylinder freed up. While I have a hose in my hand, let me also uh, explain about those. The original manufacturer for Cadillac's convertible top system has made their hoses to spec such that they will um, last so and so many cycles, but they are not made to last uh, forever. Top Hydraulics makes better hoses out of um, sturdier materials, slightly thicker walls, but um, fully matching all of Cadillac's specs and far exceeding them. Our hoses uh, should not fail on you again. Now, uh, hose failures in the XLR are fairly rare. We usually see those, on, those failures only on the hoses going to the uh, front lock, and typically it's a matter of the hose not having been routed properly, and then when the top moves and the hose flexes too much tension, makes the shoddy original hoses uh, fail too easily. We do have another video that shows how to replace hoses. We also have videos that show the replacement of all of these uh, cylinders and another video yet on the replacement of the hydraulic pump as well as a video on troubleshooting the electrical system. One more thing while I'm talking here. The hydraulic fluid in the uh, hydraulic pump Obviously, you can buy General Motors fluid. Um, General Motors actually puts their name on Pentocene CHF11S, 
and just marks it up. So you could, if you want the exact same fluid, use Pentosin CHF11S. Or our favorite at Top Hydraulics is actually Mercedes-Benz fluid, part number 00098991103, which is the exact same as the generic Febby 02615, and the latter you can buy online for uh, under $10 a quart at this point, uh, plus shipping, of course. So, um, what else fails in the system? We haven't talked about the pump yet. In many cases, you will find the pump the first thing failing. Um, and uh, sadly, it oftentimes happens because the uh, hole in which the pump is mounted fills up with water. Um, the water goes up to about here, and this will uh, damage the motor and some of the components of the pump. No big problem for top hydraulics. We can fix it all, replace the motor, replace all bad components. Plus, when we go through this pump, we go through everything. We upgrade and test internal valves. We replace all seals in this pump with better ones. For example, the oil seal um, from the reservoir to the pump motor. Uh, top hydraulics makes its own seals that are far better than the original design, holding up to higher back pressure from the reservoir and made of a better material. We are very good at the electrical components. Uh, we rewind our own motors, put more copper into them, more windings, thicker windings, and uh, thus uh, create a better motor uh, on the um, five solenoid valves here that divert the fluid. We go through every functional aspect and uh, test and upgrade it to where needed. Um, Again, on the cylinders, we have uh, normally seven seals. I'll run it by you one more time. The rod seal that seals the uh, black rod here from the gland, the gland seal, the uh, plug seal, and uh, the piston seal for the piston itself, plus the um, hydraulic port hydraulic line seals where the hoses go in. So I hope this uh, explains what uh, functions how in this XLR and uh, how we can help with these components. Again, pump, cylinders, hoses. There is of course also the uh, folding top control module and the micro switches uh, that tell the control module where the top or the trunk lid or the tonneau covers are at so that if you think logically you can only move one part of the top after the previous uh, sequence has completed for example the top will not retract before the computer knows that the trunk lid is back for that there's a micro switch in the trunk lid the micro switch in the trunk lid gets triggered it tells the computer trunk lid is back computer gives the pump a signal okay open solenoid number three to now uh, pull back the top and uh, so on and so forth interestingly enough the pump motor uh, will turn in different directions during the various sequences of the top movement and uh, again the reversal of polarity is on the pump motor is done in the uh, folding top control module Cadillac part number 15813086 and again we will talk about that in a different video hope this helps you out and uh, do contact us if you have any questions